what she has going on for her that if you have ASD level one, you won't have this going on for you as much. The whole point of this little conversation here is to let you know that the two of you are wired so differently. Why the hell wouldn't you have conflict? Neither party should be thinking that the other party is committing a bunch of sins or atrocities. Here's what she has going for her. Well, first of all, you have logic going for you at high IQ. Um, and you can uh, hyper-focus for extended periods of time on a project. You're great at systematizing, great at thinking in pictures. Um, you have a lot of strengths. Here's some of hers that don't match up with yours very much. This is her social IQ that's no doubt higher than yours if you have ASD level one. She can, guys, she can evaluate human voices and she can attach an incoming signal with an emotional value. Well, some of these things that I describe coming from her with her social intelligence, you may not even understand what I'm saying because you're so far, you're so far removed from it. She will be able to decide whether a social signal really matters. What's a social signal? Uh, it's a facial cue or a certain uh, body language that's trying to convey some connection or disconnection. She can decipher prosody. That's spelled P-R-O-S-O-D-Y. It may be a new word for you. Uh, prosody is the additional tones and ways that people add layers to meaning to their spoken words. It's kind of like voice inflection. Prosody is kind of at a deeper level. She's able to generate uniquely different reactions in response to different situations. She's like a chameleon. I'm not talking about masking here. She can change the flavor of her reaction instantly, whatever she needs to do to match up to the situation. She can do that. She will have the ability to intuit what somebody is feeling based on their facial cues, body language, tone of voice, volume of voice. She will be able to, in most cases, maybe not so much with you, but in most cases she is very good at regulating strong emotions. We could also throw in some emotional IQ business too that she's good at. And this would be emotional, emotional self-awareness. This is when her body gives her a physical signal that something is wrong and she pays attention to it, and she can sense what's going on based on how the emotion that she's feeling impacted the physical feeling in her body. You've been accused of not having empathy, no doubt, which I disagree with that. You have empathy. You just don't display your empathy to the degree that she does. doesn't mean you don't have it. It's just that it's not as visible or as pronounced. I'll, I'll pick one aspect of empathy. She will listen to people when they talk about their issues and provide a lot of facial, verbal, and body language moral support, which doesn't include trying to offer a solution. She will listen to others, talk about their issues, and she will convey, oh, I, I feel what you're going through. Oh, that must be terrible. And she's not, she won't typically offer a solution. She probably has some friends and family members that will confide in her because they know that when they go to her with some troubling issues, that she will open up her heart to them. She will probably have better impulse control than you do. In other words, for example, she will wait until somebody's done speaking before she speaks. She'll respond to people after they finish what they have to say. She will enjoy socializing with people. Not that you don't, but, but I'm guessing for the most part, that's not your cup of tea. Socializing doesn't feel like work to her. It actually feels like play. When you are stuck in a socializing situation that you're not fond of, your battery quickly gets depleted. When she's stuck in social gatherings, for example, her battery gets recharged. You will tend to have one special interest and hyper-focus and spend a, a, a lot of time with that. There's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. She will tend to have eggs in multiple different baskets. In other words, she will have some special interest in multiple domains of her life, spiritually, physically, mentally, 
emotionally, socially, financially, vocationally. So she will have a wider spread of interests, whereas yours will be more narrow. You're never going to play major league like she is. Let's just be very clear about that. Her social and emotional intelligence is up here. But you're never going to get up there. And this doesn't make you stupid. This makes you more logical than uh, emotional and more task-oriented than social-oriented. So this, it's not like this is wrong, but she is a major league player, and you're like a little league player on the social and emotional stage. So that was the little backdrop to simply help you understand, okay, well, given the dynamics at play there and how far she is out of my league in the social and emotional sense, and by the way, she's not as high in logic as you. I'm not saying she doesn't have logic, but she does not have the ability to remove emotion from the equation. That's one of your strengths is when you – need to do some serious problem solving and analysis. You have the ability to pull emotions out of the equation. That's not always necessarily a great thing, but many, many times it is. Because as soon as you introduce subjectivity into solution hunting, you've made your work much more difficult. You put on your square wheels. But when you can remain objective as you are in the business of solution hunting, and you've taken the emotions out of the equation, you've smoothed your path to where it's going to be straight and narrow, and you're going to get to that end result that you're searching for much more quickly. You're not, get, you're not going to get sidetracked with the emotions. That's why she gets so annoyed with you, because she thinks you should be doing all those things that she can do. And it's worse than that. Not only does she think you're supposed to be able to be doing all these things, when you don't do them, she assigns something else to that behavior. Selfish, insensitive, rigid, uncaring, narcissistic, sociopathic. I'm not important. He doesn't care about me. He can't see my hurt, therefore he doesn't care about my hurt. No, just because I can't see your hurt, if I have emotions blindness, it doesn't mean I don't care about your hurt. So... She's expecting you to operate at that high level, and you don't. And then she accuses you of being a, a, a 